before, during, and after college, all those times are critical times that the parents should be helping the young adults write their story. Dr. Dan here, and I got students to be smart about higher education and live a life that matters. Today's week, uh, Wisdom for the Week, is titled, College Student Parenting is a Lot Like Jogging. The easiest and safest jog is on the level and uh, smooth side streets, if, if you're jogging in the neighborhood. I mean, you can go to different places that you like, but if you're jogging in the neighborhood, level, smooth, side streets. But if you get on those roads, there's a peak in the road that kind of you use for drainage. And that kind of is the best spot to really run. Because if you run too much to the one side that's kind of angled, and you run too much with your right leg hitting at a different level than the left leg, and vice versa on the other side, if those things are happening, then that can get you out of balance and cause some problems for your hips or the rest of your knees or whatever. So you wanna um, run down the middle. It's nice to run down the middle. If you get further off to the side, there could be puddles, ruts in the road, potholes. If you get to the shoulder, there could be gravel and um, holes. If you have to run on the uh, off the road, there could be little holes that you could roll your ankle, sprain your knee, that kind of stuff. Now, why leave the middle? Dogs, dogs could be getting you out of the middle. They could get you all over the place. But the main reason you come out of the middle and running right down the middle of that nice part of the road is because of cars. Because the car, the roads are for the cars. So, but I really love running that middle, especially during the holidays, right at the crack of dawn. And you can run down just about any busy road and like say for, for example thanksgiving morning or christmas morning there's nobody on the road but occasionally you do have to get off of that road and so the whole point being the car is designed for the road so i yield and i alter my course in order to accommodate that car coming down the road despite the conditions and despite my desire to go right down the smooth middle part of the road that i prefer to ride on likewise parents have to adjust constantly in helping their young adults navigate uh, college. And before, during, and after college, all those times are critical times that the parents should be helping the young adults write their story. There's three examples of parenting styles that I had when I worked back with troubled teens because I used to do some uh, parenting workshops. And there were three examples of parents interacting with their young adults that were really that really stood out uh, the first one would and, and to give you a description we did these this activity so the activity was an obstacle course the parents were to guide their young adult through that obstacle course the, the, the point was though that the young adult had a blindfold on and I made good blindfolds with crepe paper they were they could not look below and see below so they were really blinded they had to listen to their parents they could not talk and communicate with them all they had to do was listen and in addition to that it was a staggered start but all the parents were talking all at the same time so they were talking to their student some student uh, parent pairs passed others so they still had to listen and zone in on their parents voice now Three types, three uh, examples stood out on this one. The first one was where, remember, they're not allowed to touch, and I think I said that, they're not allowed to touch their son or daughter in guiding them through this course. They just have to talk to them, and, this, and the student cannot talk back to them. So we start the course off with this pair, mom and son, and she goes right up to him immediately, grabs his arm, and starts walking with him. I says, wait, wait, mom, you can't touch him and she didn't even realize she was grabbing his arm and so she was totally uh, surprised that I told her you can't touch him and, and then the rest of that course you could see she would go up and sneak touches to him and try to get him and guide him to make sure he didn't make a mistake so this is what we would call to nowadays as the um, lawnmower parent or the helicopter parent they kind of hover over their 
their uh, young adult or they just cut out all the obstacles for them and do things for them. So the next example The next example is a mom and her son get through the course. There, there didn't seem to be any problems. She gets to the end of the course and she's crying. So I'm like, what the heck happened here? So I go up to her and I say, hey, mom, what, what's the problem? What, why, why are you crying? She's crying because this is the most her son has listened to, to her in years. So this is the young adult that just they're deaf ears. They don't want to hear what their parents have to say. They either know better or they don't respect them. And, and this isn't trying to dig into all the deep issues, but this young adult obviously rarely, if ever, listened to his mom. The third example would be a dad and his son. And so they are given the go ahead to start. He just starts walking, doesn't even turn and talk to his son. And then he turns around after he realizes his son's not by him and he says, what's the matter with you? Come on. And so he's about 10 or 15 feet from his son. His son kind of disoriented. He's got the blindfold on. He doesn't know where he's at. He says, come on. And, and his son's walking. He's zigzagging because he doesn't really know where the dad is. He eventually gets to him. But this dad had one heck of a problem getting into detail and describing to his son how to go and, and, and how to proceed. So this would be kind of the hands-off style where parents kind of leave it up to their young adults to make the decisions for them. So this is the kind of hands-off parenting style where the, the parent leaves it up to their young adult to choose for themselves. And this father obviously did this a lot. He did not communicate well with his son at all. Now, the par parental navigation so what does this all mean so parental navigation before during and after college is tough it's difficult to do to know what to do as that parent uh, there's many combinations of the lawnmower parent the deaf ears young adult and the hands-off parent and some parents have probably fallen into all of those categories at one point or another um, one parenting style does not accommodate or address all of these challenges that you're going to face with this college journey. And uh, it's nice to always run down the middle of the road, but that's just not life. There are going to be obstacles. There's going to be challenges along the ways. You're going to have to make adjustments. And so that is, that is difficult. So you're very capable of making these adjustments and, and proceeding on this journey, but it's going to take work. And uh, so be diligent. You be diligent as much as you can to learn all that you can to help your young adult make that journey, write a story that will be successful for their higher education pursuit and for their life. If this story was helpful to you or you think it might be, or this video was helpful to you or might be to others that you know or other parents that you know, please pass it on, share it, like it. I'd love to hear your comments, see what you have done in the past, where you've been successful, where are the things that you've fallen short? Have you been a lawnmower parent at times or your your young adult has, the advice you're giving them is falling on deaf ears or the um, you're the parent that's kind of hands off and you don't want to make those decisions for them and you're kind of afraid of doing that. So please leave your comments, do that and let us know uh, what's going on with your with your life and stay tuned for later videos because we're going to follow up with this and give you some pointers on how to how to follow up with this this is dr dan know where you're going in life become the person you were destined to be and make a difference in the world and uh, what you can do uh, to, to better position yourself to greatly help your young adult navigate this difficult journey before, during, and after college and in their whole life and, and have a meaningful, fulfilling life.